everybody, I'm Nick. I'm Sean. And welcome to Legend of Zelda. A Link to the Past. And by the way... I can touch him now. Yeah, <laughs> it's been two, almost two and a half years no or something dis- like that. No Discord call drops today. <laughs> it also means there's only two tracks for me to edit. Also, you should probably push a button to, you know, get to the file select. Because we're probably going to be doing this again. Also, I have a file that's just cues. You get to name the file, whatever you want. Okay, there's no lowercase, got it. Uh, they're on oh, the right. Are. Oh no, what have I done? Uh, you can back up. <laughs> blink. Blink. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Blink, let's go. Start your adventure today. How many triggers? Help me. Help me! Please help me! <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't speed past this dialogue. No, it's fine. <laughs> my, name my name is, is Zelda. My name is Zelda! <laughs> the Wizard Academy has done something to me. Sean's oh. played this game a lot. I have played this game so much. I have the controller, by the way. Um, I've played this game a lot. When we've been talking about this playthrough, it's been like, Sean wants to do the play. Yeah. <laughs> but to be fair, the version I always played the crap out of was the GBA version. Play Same. Played that for a while. Um, <laughs> and I would, like, act- actually break that game. I would do do glitches and stuff. Oh, oh of course. It's A button. Okay, okay. You're used to it being on the shoulder because of GVA. Correct. Also, when are you grabbing the lamp? Okay, you're grabbing Dang. the lamp now. Fuck also, you lamp. don't get a magic meter instant fill. It's fine. I don't need in it. In original. Have you ever played this version? No. Well, here's the first for you. And sadly, we can't pick up those stones for a bit. Yeah, I know. Which is unfortunate. Oh my god. Eh, I got a bush. <laughs> But it li- also this way, we won't have all the Young Link sound effects when we're doing all sorts of stuff. That guy looks ter- scary. Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what you gonna do about it? <laughs> You're not gonna leave your boat. <laughs> oh, there's no, like, it, the sound effects Link's makes are gonna be different? They're, you, in the GBA version, they put uh, Young Link sound effects over everything. Huh. So say, when you swung your sword... He'd be like, ha, 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 yeah, ha, yeah, ha, ha, yeah, yeah, You'd yeah. get none of that. Interesting. Anyway, he told me not to leave the house, and now he's giving me a sword. Cool. <laughs> Zelda is your... Your... My sister. Your brother's mother's cousin's former roommate. What does that make us? Absolutely nothing! <laughs> what, you don't want five dollars? <laughs> I just wanted to light the torch, you know, now it's a nice bright blue room. Eh, sadly it won't last. Yeah, I know, it's just a completely useless torch. But I can do that, I can light torches, in case you've somehow never played this game before. In which, you absolutely can, if you have any form of Nintendo Switch Online, you can just do that. We are playing via the actual console, though, because I just have that. Yeah, if I'm that SNES version... I just have the cart right there. Got it from the flea market way too long ago. So there's a specific glitch that I may or may not mention a couple times in here that I know how to do really well on the GBA version. And I wonder what happens if you try to recreate it in here. What is it that you do? Why don't it's, you explain? It's um, out of boundsing. Oh, out of bounds stuff. But, but specifically in a way that warps you. It's I'm wrong warping. Gotcha. I don't have to do anything in the castle, right? I think you just go. You just have to go downward. Oh, right. I thought I had to find Zelda. You have to find Zelda. 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 <laughs> uh, I don't think we Give get any actual time stopping powers in this one. We do, however, have screen nukes. But that won't come till later. Yeah, they're not that good. I mean, it's just faster to just chop things to death. By the no, way, how complete are we doing this? 100%? I may not get every heart container. I usually end up doing so. That's fair. It's not, like, super hard. There's just some out-of-the-way ones, that's all. I know something that is super hard. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that map. I probably don't even need that map. No, I'm but never, you do need the key, though. I'm never going to open it this game. We do know where we're going. Fault! <laughs> Bitch! 
But yeah, uh, primarily our first oh, experiences were with the GBA version damn because <laughs> I was born just a little too late to really experience the SNES and I had a Genesis growing up, so there's that. Oddly enough, same. I technically had a Genesis growing up, I just didn't have the most games on it. I mostly played with my Nintendo. I mostly had a bunch of hand-me-down Genesis games. Which is why I played Sonic 3 so much, but without, uh, and Knuckles. Because we never had the lock-on cart. So my first real uh, experience with Zelda was actually with Ocarina of Time. My first Zelda game was the first Zelda game, thankfully. I did play that on the NES. I never beat it! Boy howdy was I a child and fuck figuring out secrets in that game. Oh yeah, it was cryptic as all hell. By the way, Boomerang! Select it is completely button. optional. You actually have to push the start button? I have to unpop. Okay. Figuring it out. It's been a while. So getting the unrust. There was um So I don't I no longer have my GBA copy of this game. Because I don't know if you remember, um, a long time ago, back when uh Nick and I would visit the Outer Plains, who has a new location now. Uh, hey, it's so good. Anyway, keep continue. But there was a uh, a young kid who was like getting into magic and he was like becoming really friendly in the scene everyone loved him you and i would both give him drives rides home sometimes i don't remember his name i don't remember but either Z zelda was his favorite game series yeah. did you end up giving your cart to him yeah i gave it to him before he moved away got it well lucky you i own two cartridges thank you blank blank <laughs> listen carefully blank i just start blinking yeah you're just going to re-trigger all your Enter the Battlefield effects. And also pick up for $5, because that would have been a lamp. That would have been a lamp? Lantern. Why would that have been a lantern? If you didn't pick it up until then, this is where you could pick it up. <laughs> These $5 locations are the alternate uh, lantern locations. That's so funny. I didn't know that. Because we almost always just pick it up. I think it's technically faster to pick it up there. What? I've never not picked it up there, because it's like, all right, here's the lantern. I think it's like a speed run thing, but I all, but I haven't really kept a close eye oh, on the speed runs. Speed run, right? I should go the faster way. I also I always just go up this way. Lately, the speed runs of this game at GDQ have been um like randomizers. I mean, fair. Because it's more fun. They've to watch. run it enough yeah. times that it's just like, like let's spice things up a little bit. Hey Zelda, I'm sorry you had to watch me kill that guy, but <laughs> speaking of uh, runs, I did watch Triforce Percent. An arbitrary code execution oh, yes. is in that, a thing. I didn't watch that fully yet. There was a really um, fun GDQ run this year. Oh, I guess they don't see me. Cool. I mostly just watch the VODs. I never almost always catch them live on I Twitch. I didn't watch a lot of it live. So when I was watching it on Twitch, I like happened to tune in. And it was, and there's a secret passage behind the throne. Um, we should shove it. Um... Continue. GDQ, GDQ run. Oh yeah, I just happened to turn it on and saw that. I was like, oh, it's not great time. I was like, what the heck is going on in this run? <laughs> I said, hey, what's going I, on? I literally caught like the last 10 minutes of the run. I push it from the other side. Yes, yeah. God dang it. I always do that. Have you always just saw like other weapons sitting around and I was like, why can't I just pick these up? It's a decoration. They're probably not real weapons. And then Breath of the Wild happened. <laughs> and if you didn't have a lantern, then you wouldn't have this cone of vision. You f you're forgetting buttons, aren't you? Well, I'm used to only having two buttons. You now have more buttons. Also, I'm pretty sure if we had proper quarter hearts, you would have taken a quarter heart from that rat. Rat! Freaking rats. I Vermin. Love this, I always love the stair sound effect. No right. Also, there were snakes here. Or should I call tired them ropes? These, tired of these motherfucking snakes in my motherfucking dungeon underneath my Hyrule Castle. Yeah, I don't want to die. Not to snakes. You could always just charge a spin attack and just let loose. Cause that was the first game. This was the first game to introduce that. Makes sense. Ah, <laughs> fucking. Because ropes. Link's Awakening was the DNA is primarily based on this, although it's much more linear. Unless you decide to glitch things out. And do dungeons out of order that way. Oh, I will do dungeons out of order in this game. Just, just, just a fair warning. That's totally fine. But what I was getting at was uh, in Link's Awakening, 
you have to do thing a little something called uh, the doghouse glitch to do uh, dungeons out of order. What and is, let's just say it's a trip. What is the the doghouse glitch? So first things first, you gotta go get a way to kill enemies. And then the way this works is it's based on the amount of enemies you kill. Because it increments a counter. And then the kind of map you load what when is you this? initiate what is this? the glitch. Genocide route? Uh kinda sorta not really. Also key, nice. Also bombable world. That one I don't think is bombable. The uh, the other ones up there are. But There's... I don't do those till later. Yeah, and you have to come back here way later. Just dumb. Not super later but like you need like at least the gloves like the first tier gloves I think you can get here right after you get to Kakarika Village you can come back Ooh, money. I usually try and get close to a hundred dollars actually we can get get to a hundred dollars pretty easily in Kakarika yeah. by doing a pitfall Please. if you know what I mean jumping right. down a well left or right left fine <laughs> Let's do it wrong. Okay, they just died in one slash. No. Oh, I, they died in two. I just kept hitting hitting one a couple times. Oh god. He's At coming. least you can't pull the same lever twice. You need to pull the lever. Thanks, Zeldor. You don't even do any work. Damn it. <laughs> and it's gone. And it's gone. Oh man, we're in a sanctuary. Are you ready for plot, 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 plot? Oh, Zelda. Uh, Blink, it was help. Blink, help me. Blink, Blink, you must not Blink, and you missed it. The wizard's cluster. Word vomit. Master sword. Oh, man, you want to go get the master sword now? Master sword. You want to go get the master sword now? I'm pretty sure we lack pendants. Yes. Also, don't forget the heart container yeah, in the chest. These fuckers will let me navigate. Da -da -da -da. The only one you get out of a chest. Yeah, it's weird. Every other time we're going to see a heart piece. Anyway, here's the world. <laughs> also, he stabbed you. Also, all he, all this guy has to do is literally walk in that church and the game would accelerate a lot faster. Yeah, no, right? Anyway, so we're going to Kakarika Village. You guys want Normally, you don't have to do this. You can just go straight to the right. It's completely optional. What? Is it? Yeah, you don't have to get his location at all. I just like going here because I like goodies. Is it? Yep. What? Huh? You don't have to do this sequence at all. You don't have to do this. Huh. Oh god, she's talking. Oh god. Word vomit. You could just go straight to the first dungeon if you wanted to. Well, I want... Alright. You could do what you want, though. You're the one in control. You could do what you want, because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. I don't know why I said <laughs> it that way. Can I get bombs in here? Uh, you have to go left first. Thank you. I need I, that's why I advise you to fall down the well. Yeah. Because you could get some bombs down there for I free. That, I knew there was a way to get bombs in here for free. And I know you need bombs when you go down there. Ba -da -da -da. Three bombs. Joy. We only need, we only need at least two. And we get another five dollars each from the pots. Hell to the yeah, By brother. the way, bomb the Ah, you missed a secret. You know, I think I've gotten that before, so that's it's fair. a piece of heart. Yeah, you should gonna, get it. I'm gonna go back for that. Alright. I really wish you could hear pots through doors. Yeah, no, right? Bombas. I'm gonna have to get used to that menuing. That menguing. And only being able to have one item at a time. Does this game do the thing? Yes. It's it's oh, ob visually right. obvious. I just wanted to show the sound effect. Yeah. Uh, place bomb. Oh man, ten more dollars. Ha ha. <laughs> just get some money. And it's in the chest. More money. And health. Da -da -da -da. One. There's at least another one you can get in. Actually, no. There's at least another two you can get in town. There's a, a few you can get in town. I think. Oh wait, I think that might be a bottle. A ba bomb I know you can get a bottle right here by giving him a hundred dollars. Worth it. I don't know why I keep calling rupees dollars. Hundred bucks. Hundred smackaronis. These are the valuable bottles. Oh yeah. 
because in this game they're magic. No, well, you there's... could technically bomb that wall though. In the house. Yep. Yeah, I know. So let's use one of our bombs. Don't get in the. Don't get chicken. You could pick them up still. Oh god. Also, there was one chicken. under there. Yeah, I love him. So is... If you had arrows, you would get arrows from here. Oh wait, no, you still get arrows. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I mean, you get it in the first dungeon. Spoiler alert. <laughs> We're just gonna spoil the shit out of this game anyway. Also, this guy runs from you. We don't have boots for that yet. Also, you should go. Oh yeah, we should get the bug net since we have a bottle now. Yeah. <laughs> this kid's dying, and his dying wish is that we go catch bugs. Thanks, kid. You inspired Pokemon by being a bug catcher. Yep. Also, Mario's on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Weird. We're gonna see some weird Easter eggs. Don't forget to go down. Yeah, I know. Just make sure. There's a chest here. It's a heart piece. It's a bottle. I lied. I forgot you get two bottles in this town. Why is there a chicken under a pot? I don't Just know. to cook? I don't know, man. Anyway, other heart pieces up to the north. This guy's also thankful you mow his lawn, I think. Sorry about the yard. I was yeah. <laughs> Oh, he tells you about the Zoras. That one. You need right. at least, like, what? 300 rupees? Which you could very easily get by the time you get there. You need to have. Quote, you unquote. need the dash boots, which you get by uh, no, beating first you dungeon. You need the gauntlets, which you need in the second dungeon. You have to lift a rock that's in the way. Uh, I thought they were dash blocks that you had to run into. No, it's a big block you gotta carry. Well, we'll see when we get there. Nope. <laughs> we have all the bombs we need for now. Even though picking up... Oh, we can't do that with our bo normal bombs. We need a super bomb. You can't get the super bomb in the normal world, though. Yeah, we don't get this secret for a while. I... The right. secret... Unless it's, like, completely different in... Gee, later. Maybe. I don't know. No, we get super bomb at, like, end game. It's the one that you have to carry around with yeah, you. Yeah, 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 but you can't carry that into the light world. It's only in the dark world, I thought. We'll check. Ow. Stupid mines. Yeah, that can happen. I what the fuck? I freaking hate that. Why is there a guard here? He can die now. We can't really do anything here so far. I know. I'm just kind of walking around, you know. I do want the Pegasus boots, so I guess I'm going to go do that. Get the second heart piece at least first. So you know the bandit hideout you were originally going to walk into? Uh... It's up north. Oh, you're right. You need to bomb the wall to yeah, get the piece yeah. of heart. Forgot about that. You can also potentially get 80 smackaroos if you do the puzzle right. Yeah, I, I usually do. Forgot about that. Yum, 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 yum. That's why I advise bombs first. Later, nerd. <laughs> yeah, totally a bandit hideout. I'm going to call a bunch of people nerds. You mean me. <laughs> yeah, crack. I always thought the wall was on the right for some reason. It's always to the north. Yeah, it's in a chest. Those bandits were hiding out. Also, you get some smackaroos in the pots. And I got more health. You could never sort live of. without some smackaroos. Smackaronies. Now it's time for you to get your puzzle game on. I fucked it already. <laughs> I fucked it. I fucked it! Gotcha, did. Get some uh, dosh. Dosh, grab it while it's hot. Pretty much. Money, money, money. Everybody loves money, right? Except when you have a wallet cap, then you cry. Which in this is nine nine nine. In the <laughs> original Zelda, it was two fifty five because they tied rupees to an eight bit value. <laughs> yeah. Wait, in which one? Oh, the first one? Yeah, you That's could only funny. hold 255 rupees. That's funny. But weirdly, in that game, rupees were also your arrows. Because Link was simply, like, his arrows had no arrowheads, so he just stuck a rupee on them. How do you look at the map? I believe it had to be one of the shoulder buttons. No. Or X. There oh, we go. God. Hello, Mode it 7. It still says I need to talk to her? 
You don't. Whatever. You can just go. Okay, fine. I'm gonna go walk across the whole map. We know where we're going. Let's be real. No. No. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. I'm pressing up. I think you need to press left. Oh, you want your boomerang. Oh, yes. There, there you we go. go. Yeah, oh, that was frustrating. We'll get used to SNES <laughs> menuing at some point. But eventually we'll get you magic boomerang. It won't be that long. Ow. We just have to go into a waterfall. Also, that, that guy's, guy's rude. That guy's angry. No. Hey, hey. <laughs> Stap. Get some help. Oh, man, what's this way? <laughs> Link drowned. It's literally you drowning. Are you aware of the old Ben Drowned, like, creepypastas? Yeah. <laughs> Name your Link Ben. <laughs> ben Drowned. Hey, fuck these guys. I know, right? Okay, you did need the lift. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember it specifically being the second dungeon. Get Which, the mushroom. Should I go get the get mushroom, actually? Mm, we don't need it for a little while. I mean, it's helpful to deal with those fuckers. <laughs> but thankfully, the magic powder's not mandatory. But the magic powder on those guys just makes them funny. Yeah, it turns them into their, um, Dark World counterparts, which, spoiler alert, there's a Dark World. But the, you could also use the magic Ooh. powder on them in Link's Awakening, and they turn funny and they talk to you. Yeah. I'm oh, shit. Die. Eh, it's whatever. You should just go right a little extra to get to a Great Fairy Fountain. <laughs> which there should be no need of Bomba to access. You just need to... Stun him and walk around Whoa, him. Did you see that fireball? Great dodge, mate. Do one of my ass. And you're like, can I just have some time with the fairy chick? Pretty sure we've harped that on enough. Especially if you've seen my Ocarina of Time playthrough and the great fairy's there. Because, money. oh dear god. Money. You can't get into the temple without talking to the Hursa Hursla, right? Uh, it should be open. But you can talk to him anyway. All right, I'll talk. Be to like, hey, old man. <laughs> Somewhat word dumpy. Charles, lag of blankets. The sword of evil's brain. You need some pendants. Like normally, you should go talking to people in Kakariko to be here. But I said, fuck the rules. I don't have bombs, so I have to come back for that. It's mostly just a bunch of rupees. Also, I'll tell that you right now. Alive. Wait a minute. In the GBA version, that statue stands here. So that way you're forced to touch it when you go up the stairs. Oops. <laughs> that's so funny. And, that's and now you got more arrows, even though it maxes you out when you literally pick up the bow. I just wanted to get away from him. Just fuck this guy in particular? Yeah, fuck that dude. Yeah, oh god, no. Oh, wait! The, the Octorok activated him! Ah, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> yeah, early game can be a little precarious when you can only take, like, five hits before dying. Bloop, 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 bloop. Yeah, and then there's that. Aren't you happy that Gen 5 turned low health him. into a song? They turned what? The low health beep into a song. They did? Yeah. By the way, we should probably cut here. We're at the 25-ish minute mark. What? We are? God, God, that went by so fast. Yeah, it did. Alright, well, we're at a dungeon. You don't get to see it until next time. The suspense, oh no! Anyway, I'm going in right now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, I'm a Nick. I'm Sean. See you guys next time.